So, you know, wondered if we could uh, make a DIY thermometer that, I don't know, maybe worked as good as some of those fancy ones out there. So kind of set up the test a little bit and threw it on the grill. Trying to compare it with the uh, meter here. That's kind of a common, uh, common store-bought one. All right, yeah, I know ours doesn't look as fancy, but. We're using the uh, Blink app to get the IoT data in. So, I mean, you can see the temperatures are pretty similar. This is making me hungry. Hey, how you doing? Yeah, it seems like the connection got lost on the meter a couple times, but it always jumped back in. Yeah, so the temperatures are tracking reasonably well. I felt like on the DIY with the with the expensive one. Yeah, there our notification just went right there to take it off. Hey, so you can see this DIY meat thermometer is within two degrees Fahrenheit of the meter. Not too bad. The nice thing about the DIY approach is when you've made this thing yourself, you know intimately how it works, which means you can do whatever modifications you want if you want to get more fancy. That's going to be a lot more difficult with something you get off the shelf. You want to add 10 probes to this thing? Fine. You want it to talk to your smart outdoor lights and turn them on and off when your steak is done so your neighbors get super jealous? Totally possible. The sky is the limit when you start to explore this world of DIY electronics. Anyone can learn how to make this device. All it takes is a little bit of patience, some creativity, and the next thing you know, you're going to be making custom projects for your friends and family in no time. Even your dog's going to be happy that you decided to start a hobby in electronics and programming. Listen, you can build stuff just like that DIY temp probe shown in this video. It's not rocket science. In fact, just average folks like myself can program and build stuff like that. Watch this video. You can get opened up to an entirely new world of programming electronic stuff. Empower your inner Tony Stark. Just check it out. This video is going to walk you through everything you need to know to get started programming Arduino.